draw the development of part P of the given cylinder. So from this figure easily we can understand that uh, the cylinder is resting on the horizontal plane. So when the cylinder is resting on the horizontal plane on its base, automatically axis will be perpendicular to HP. We have to start our problem from the top view. Now here I am drawing the XY line and first I will draw the top view of the cylinder. So in the top view we can see the cylinder as a circle. I will draw the circle and I will consider 12 generators on the circle. So to do this you have to divide this circle into 12 equal parts. Now I have divided this into 12 parts. I am giving the names like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 11, 12. So here the important precaution is you have to number in the anti-clockwise direction. Now from this top view I am going to project the front view. So this circle radius is given as 15. Now this height is 40. Complete the front view by drawing all the transferring all the project, uh, project all these uh, generators to the front view by drawing projectors like this. Here this is the generator of 1 dash. This is 2 dash 12 dash. This is 3 dash 11 dash. 4 dash 10 dash. 5 dash 9 dash. 6 dash 8 dash. Large generator is 7 dash. Now I am representing the section planes to get the required part of the cylinder. This is the required portion. For this portion I am going to draw the development. Now observe here this side of the cutting plane cutting some number of generators here. Identify the cutting points with the generators here. This is cutting the generator 1 dash. So here I will get one cutting point because this last line is representing only one generator. So we will get only one cutting point at the bottom base. That I am calling as A dash. Next this is the second cutting point. This is with respect to 2 and 12. So B dash is the cutting point on 2. B1 dash is the cutting point on 12. Next here I am getting the one more cutting point on 3 and 11 generators. 3 is visible. So that I will call as C dash. 11 is invisible that is on the back side. That cutting point I will call as C1 dash. Here I will get another cutting point. It is almost at the top base. So here 4 and 10 generators are there. With respect to 4 I will call the cutting point as D dash. With respect to 10 I will call the cutting point as, cutting point as D1 dash. Now coming to the other side here I am getting one cutting point. So this particular point is on the 5 dash and 9 dash. With respect to 5 dash the cutting point is E dash. With respect to 9 dash cutting point is E1 dash. Here another intersection point I am getting. This will represent two cutting points. One is on 6 and another one is on 8. With respect to 6 F dash. With respect to 8 F1 dash. Here this last line indicates only one generator. So here at the bottom base I will get only one cutting point that is G dash. Now draw a stretch out line from bottom base and from the top base and mark a perpendicular line to these two parallel lines at some distance somewhere here. This distance is your choice. You can mark at any distance. From this point you take 2 pi r length. So from this line you mark 2 pi r length. Here 2 pi r length is 94. So at the 2 pi r length you complete the rectangle. Now you divide this 2 pi r length into same number of equal parts which you have considered on this circle. This circle is divided into 12 parts. So this 2 pi r length also you have to divide into 12 parts. To divide this into 12 parts the easiest method is first divide this into 2 parts. Next divide this into 3 parts, sorry 2 parts. Next divide this particular part into 2 parts. Next you divide this into this particular small region into 3 parts. Again this region into 3 parts, this into 3 parts, this into 3 parts. Now total it is divided into 12 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Now now this is the baseline. This is visible. Next. 
we have to transfer all these points a b c d b1 c1 d1 e f e1 f1 g all these points we have to transfer on to the development so when these points on the generators directly you can draw a locus line on to the respective generator or corresponding generator then you will get the point on the development if it is meeting the base then you have to transfer that to the top view and from the top view you have to take the distance and you have to take the corresponding locus line from the front view you have to find out the intersection point now here it is not a complicated case all the intersection points are on the generators directly we can plot now i am transferring the points a so from here and here i have drawn two locus lines a point is on one generator so here i am getting a b point is with respect to two here observe this generator is with respect to 2 and 12 b is with respect to 2 b1 dash is with respect to 12 so here i will mark b next here i will mark c next d is with respect to 4 here i will get d e is with respect to 5 here i will get e f is with respect to 6 next g is with respect to 7 next f1 is f1 is with respect to 8 next e1 is on 9 next d1 is on 10 c1 is on 11 c1 is on 11 b1 is on 12 again i'll get a point here because when we are closing like this the first point will come at the end when we when we bend it like this automatically a and a will coincide now draw a smooth curve passing through all these points this is the development of the required portion of the cylinder